welcome back we're still running the show yes, so is. let's keep it moving on our personality profile i sat with socialite and the deputy managing director of eleganza industrial city chief fola shade okoya enjoy She commands a lot of respect whenever she steps out. Her tall and trim frame complements her fashion sense, which oozes enviable class and style, making her stand out at social gatherings. Fola Shade Okoya, wife of billionaire business mogul and eleganza boss, Chief Razak Okoya, is without doubt a style detector and a businesswoman who is currently the Deputy Managing Director of Eliganza Industrial City. I recently got up close and personal with the mother of four at her Ajam mansion. Fola Shade Okoya, who holds an OND in Banking and Finance and BSc in Sociology, both from the University of Lagos, opened up about family, marriage and business. Showing us there is more to Shadi than all the glitz and glamour. I, I must start by saying that for a mother of four, you look so beautiful for a mother of four and so trimmed. How do you do this? Okay, thank you and you're welcome to my home. Yeah. I've been blessed, I'm lucky and I eat right. I sleep very well and everything works out the way I planned. Now, a lot of people just see the shade that is the fashionista, the shade that, you know, that is all about the glitz and glamour, and the shade that is in the society, you know, all over, all over the page of the newspapers, but nobody knows that this shade works so hard. Now, tell us what you do, especially at the Eliganza Industrial City. Um, the journey has been a very wonderful one so far. People have their own opinion to what they think about me. But I think majority of my close friends, they know I work in day in, day out. And that's why we actually brought out the Eleganza Industrial City. Okay. It's less than three years and is a baby from the Eleganza group of company. Yeah. It's a new, let me just say, it's a new dream come true for yeah. Eleganza group of company. While she says she's not all about the glam, she was quick to tell us her routine on a daily basis. It's a different kind of joy when you try to make something and it actually comes to actualization. It's a, the joy is very, it's different, you can't tell. But we do uh, chairs and we have over 68 designs of chairs. Getting married to someone who is a workaholic, how were you able to fit in, you know, to his everyday job? It made me to realize that he loves to work and that's part of his life. So if I have to make it work, I have to be like him. like him, yeah. I have to be part of him. She got married to her husband when she was 21, and her husband was 59. And she tells me age is not a barrier. I told you my husband was very sincere. He's been very honest from the beginning, and that alone got me. Yeah. Let me just say, and I just knew, oh, this is where I want to be. Yeah. So I don't, you know, I don't, in, in Yoruba, there's something that says you don't actually look at the people around, you don't look at the crowd. You look at where you're going to and you focus on that. And I don't believe in me doing something and failing. Yeah. So for me saying this is where I want to be, then I have to actually make everything put together work. She was recently conferred with a doctorate degree in business management and corporate leadership from the European American University. And she says the award is a proof of her hard work. Most people will see me like, oh, just about the dress up and, and the glamour. Yeah, glamour, yeah. But people that knows me real well know what I do every day. I've been married to my husband for 17 years and I've been working all these years. But, you know, the shade everybody seems to know is about the other side of me. The, the, cover, the cover girl. <laughs> so I think being happy in what I do and people that notice this. So I would say that is attributed to what the, the um, doctorate the, the degree, degree. Okay. They was. looked at you, saw what you do, and yes. decided to confer that on you. 
All right, now let's go. Uh, recently, your husband celebrated his 76th birthday. A lot of people have said a lot of things about him, good things. Mm -hmm. Now, you're someone who is very, very close to him. I mean, no doubt about that. Tell us something we don't know. Uh, my husband is a very open person, very open. He, I think everything about him has been, it's been said. It's very, it's very, very generous with faults, very generous. And he's a very loving person, very loving. And as a result of being shy, sometimes you just try to hide away from things. Some things, yeah. So you don't get to see my husband, he's, he's a very shy man. So I don't think, most people would know this about him, but they might not actually know he's been shy. They'll think, oh, he's just been quiet. And that, I think, this now makes both of us to work well. Because yeah. I'm a very shy person as well. Yeah. When people see me, they'll think, oh, I should be like, Everywhere. Uh, yes, but my shyness makes me to, to just stay calm and be, okay. and be me. Oh, the shade we see everywhere. That, <laughs> that shade is shy. Okay, we're going to talk about that one. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's look at, are you saying now that you, you said that he's a very loving person. Is it that love that swept you off your feet 17 years ago? My husband is a very loving person and he's very caring. You know, sometimes you might actually, you know, we are all humans and it's depending on what you get or what you see that makes you to like, oh, okay, let me give this thing a, a, a thought. Yeah. My husband can make you change your mind. He can actually, and for him, he always says he never losing anything he wants. So, so you're one of those <laughs> that he won. <laughs> he never lost anything, anything he desire and wants. He's always working towards getting things like that. So to be honest now, what attracted you to him? Um, maybe his hard work. His hard work and his generosity. Now, when you got married 17 years ago, I know there would have been a lot of criticism from left, right, and center. How did you feel? Really, how did you feel? Um, I was young, and you know, when you're young, sometimes you don't actually listen to comments yeah. is when you now start growing and you you start getting more like okay, listening, listening to, to what people's comments are all about you but yeah. then seriously I was just like mm, it's my choice and nobody's gonna I know people would say people say said a lot of things then yeah. but I wasn't bothered I just thought it's my life and it's where I present my life and I live my life that people will take to take me for who I am yeah now that decision you took 17 years ago if you're given the opportunity would you take that make that decision again to marry at that age and that I think age? I would even do it at a much younger age why much younger why because now when I look back I look at my children growing as tall as me the fun I have now as a mother now I would have loved to have my children like two years earlier than when I started my honest opinion I would have wanted my child to be like just because we're hanging we, we when you see me and my kids we're like friends yeah. and I love to like oh I would have wanted them more matured to understand what sometimes so we can talk together yeah so if I had that choice if would I had to do it all over again now yeah I would love to have done it two years earlier than when I started okay but uh, let's look at it this way but if your daughter comes and say okay I want to marry a man of that age would you allow her it's, it's a choice it's a choice I told you I made my choice and now I'm happy. Yeah. If I had married a younger man, sorry to say, but I wouldn't mm. have lasted in that relationship. Even though she has a couple of domestic staff around, she says she still takes pride in cooking for her husband. I cook every day and I love to cook. You know, I don't compromise on what I eat. My husband as well, he doesn't eat out. He's, let me say, he's used to my food and he's always even, he says that in a joking way. He tells people, oh, I have to go home and eat. I don't, I don't want to eat out. So he loves, I love to cook. I have a passion for cooking. Keeping her home, working and still very relevant on the social scene. She attributes it all to the love and cooperation she gets from her husband and children, proudly showing them off. We enjoy each other's company and as well as my children. So there is never a dull moment when I get in the house. Yeah. Mrs. Fola Shade Okoya borrows a leaf from the old saying, all work and no play makes Jack a doll boy by indulging in recreational activities with her family. 
She particularly loves swimming and bowling. These, she says, are her hobbies. I do bully once in a while, like play tennis as well. In terms of marriage, what would you, young girls, no matter how young they are, what would be your advice for young people who want to go into marriage? I'm not, I'm not an expert. I, I, I told you, God has been wonderful to me. And I've been trying. I respect my husband a lot, and that's part of the thing. You know, most, most couple, when they marry to the, when a girl married to maybe a guy of, our age mates, the respect sometimes is not, it's not, it's not there. But it doesn't matter the age. You don't check what age you're married to. Men wants to feel special. They want you to, to give them the respect and love. So it's just about managing your partner. And at the end of the day, you just see yourself winning. With the charity work she's been involved in and awards to show for it, Fola Shade Okoya says she hopes to be remembered for the lives she touched positively.